Right, so this is a, a short video. Um, it might be a little bit niche for some, but um, anyone in a trade union or interested in trade unionism itself might find this useful because I just happened to have my ballot come through from Unite asking me to vote yes or no to them keeping their political fund. And I know a lot of people who watch this channel have had likewise because they've asked me about it. So I thought I'd do a quick bit of an explainer on this. People are asking about the political fund because they don't want to fund Keir Starmer's Labour Party and are wondering therefore if that is what this is all about especially when it comes to unions like Unite who are affiliated to the Labour Party and actually the lack of clarity despite some materials to that effect coming with the ballot should worry affiliate trade unions that their affiliation to Labour now could actually be doing them more harm than good. The fact is voting yes to the political fund is not about funding Labour it is entirely to do with the union itself being able to campaign on political issues. One of the regressive anti-trade union laws passed under the Tories that Blair never repealed and Starmer likely won't either is the Trade Union and Labour Relations Consolidation Act of 1992. But actually this is an expansion of earlier legislation that had been passed by Margaret Thatcher. And functionally all it means is that trade unions every 10 years must conduct a ballot on whether or not members still wish to have a political fund. The political fund pays for a given union to campaign on the issues that affect its members. For a general union like Unite, that is campaigning on the NHS or food poverty, the cost of living, ensuring members' voices are heard at all levels of government, both national and regional, and above all, it pays to enable the union to simply go around doing campaigning and defending workers' rights. Without the fund, the union couldn't expose attacks on workers' rights, couldn't campaign against government cuts, campaign for renationalisation, couldn't produce campaign materials, couldn't lobby politicians. That's how important this fund is. It is completely aside from the politicians themselves and the money the Labour Party gets from a given affiliate union. This is what the union uses to campaign for in and of itself. Without it, their hands get completely tied. They functionally get gagged by the very anti-trade union legislation so many of us want repealed. An affiliate like Unite would then be completely reliant on Labour to speak for the interests of their members. And under Keir Starmer, can you really see that happening? And this is exactly what many people with a ballot here don't want. They don't want to be funding Starmer because they don't believe he'd, he's backing them. He's not on their side. But weirdly, not voting yes to this political fund, which is what many people think will end up handing Labour their money, would actually end up handing Labour even more power and sway over their union, more beholden to them as they then would be. For any non-affiliate union, it'd be even worse, actually, with nobody to speak for them whatsoever. But then their members know none of their dues to go to any political party anyway. Therefore, it should be an absolute no-brainer to vote if you get one of these ballots in a non-affiliate union. Now, having listened to me ramble on a bit, it's what I've done. Don't strip your union of power. It's what Thatcher wanted. So far, it's been resisted. But with a plank like Starmer putting so many people off, this is an issue I definitely think warranted some clarification. If you've got the Unite ballot like I have, voting closes on the 22nd of May. So get it in the post. Don't ignore it. It's absolutely crucial, as many people as possible, vote yes to this, to renew the union's mandate to basically be able to open its mouth and say stuff in public, campaigning in our interests, which is what we joined the union for to begin with, after all, isn't it? And if you aren't in a union yet, get on with it. Thanks for watching. If you appreciated this video, please do hit like and subscribe, leave a comment and hit the notification bell too so you don't miss the next one. Also look out for me on social media and other interesting stuff by clicking on the link tree link in the comments below. And I will see you next time. Cheers, folks.